I'm John Grabber with the Dairy Forage Research Center in Madison, Wisconsin. I work with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the Agricultural Research Service. Behind me is a uh, field site of corn, corn silage, uh, that has alfalfa interseeded into it. And uh, this is a practice that we've been working at, uh, researching for about uh, 12 years. And uh, what we're trying to do in this system are improve corn alfalfa rotations. Um, corn silage is a great crop, produces a lot of tonnage of uh, forage uh, for our dairy farmers. A limitation of it though is when the crop is harvested, we've got bare ground, real potential for erosion, loss of nutrients. So we need a cover crop. We need ground cover in the fall, through the winter into the following spring. So we've got that need. Alfalfa, uh, its main limitation, or one of them, is low yield during the year that you get it planted, when you're getting it established. The yields are only about half of what you might get in a subsequent uh, full production year or years after that. So in this system, what we're trying to do is plant the alfalfa in the corn as a cover crop to provide those cover crop benefits we need for corn. And we're aiming to get the alfalfa established so that it can go into full forage production the following year. Through the years, we found that there are a few keys in getting the system to work well. Um, that would include planting the, both crops at about the same time. You can plant the alfalfa up to about the time when corn is just popping out of the ground. But uh, you don't really want to go later than that because the aim is to help the alfalfa have time to get going in the spring before it's heavily shaded uh, by the, uh, the corn crop. Uh, another key is, of course, you've got to be trying to do the system on ground that's well suited for alfalfa in terms of pH, uh, soil fertility, good drainage, that sort of thing. So good alfalfa ground. Um, want to apply adequate nutrients for both crops. Uh, nitrogen management is very important. Want to use full rates of nitrogen. And if you can, uh, place the nitrogen to favor uptake by the corn. So either banding it along the corn row and starter or deep banding under corn, if you can do that, that helps the corn get the nitrogen rather than the alfalfa because the alfalfa doesn't need the nitrogen during establishment. Now I mentioned earlier that the, the primary focus is getting alfalfa established in the system and the corn is the companion crop. So what we recommend is full seeding rates of alfalfa, focus on good establishment of alfalfa. For the corn side, we're going to keep corn populations kind of at a moderate level and use corn hybrids that will allow some light to penetrate down to the alfalfa. That'll allow the alfalfa to keep growing later in the growing season like we're seeing right now. Some light getting down to the alfalfa will help sustain it through this stressful period when it's, it's heavily shaded. Something else that we found that's really key for the system to work is uh, the use of several agrochemicals. Uh, one is a growth retardant that we apply to the alfalfa to help keep the plants more compact encourages root growth rather than the plants getting tall and spindly, which would be the normal condition of any plant under shade. Uh, another key is uh, the use of uh, fungicide, and if you have insect problems uh, like potato leaf hoppers present, an insecticide can help. Application of those will help keep the alfalfa canopy healthier a lot longer under corn, and it'll help the alfalfa harvest whatever light is coming through and, and uh, use it to continue growing. Another key in the system is to harvest the corn silage early enough. We'd like to see corn silage harvested in early to mid-September. Moving the corn then allows the alfalfa some time to, uh, to continue growing and get ready for winter. And that'll help the crop, the alfalfa crop, overwinter and get off to a good start the following year.